I also have the ability to invoke the explore command down the lower right hand corner. So I'm going to go ahead and click on explore and that's going to bring up this new pane which I can use to search in several different ways and I'll show you that now. If I wanted to learn more about cats I could type in the word cat to do a search on cats. I can also look for images directly from here so that would have been another way to add an image. I can hover over this image and if I wanted to add it in I could either drag it over or I could simply click the plus and it's going to bring that image into my document. And it, once again, I can resize it and do quite a bit of manipulating of that particular image as well. If I double click it, I do also have the ability to crop and only include the part of the image that I want. So that was a double click right on the image itself. Finally, I can add information from Drive or I can do a search in Drive for anything that has the word cat in it or cats in it. In this particular case, it's picking up images of my dog, which I find interesting. And the, the word cat will appear somewhere in these various documents that I have in Drive. Again, you can also type in a word. If I highlight that word, I can now right click on it and I can explore dog. So I was on the word, I highlighted it, right click, and that brings up this sub menu, which has many, many features that you're gonna also wanna explore. Click on explore dogs, and over here, this pane is going to change and give me information in my drive, in this case, about images and other details about dogs that are in various drive files. If I click on web, I go back to do a web search, and finally, again, I can look, at, look up images of these various dogs in various states of nature. I can also then close the explore pane just by clicking the X.